Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you guys your daily journal message for Thursday, August 4th, 2022. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in your own private reading, all the information is down below in the description box below. So whomever this is meant for, let's get started here. 10 card spread outcome clarifiers. Wow, somebody's been manifesting with their thoughts here in regards to for somebody to return. Really, really throwing that out there uh, with the Knight of Swords looking at that Four of Swords. Uh, you could be manifesting, uh, meditating at night, I feel. Keep doing it, definitely. You're throwing that exactly intention out there for them to return. I, I literally just heard, I feel their energy is close. I feel their energy is close. You could be... A uh, water sign here, energy with the Queen of Cups, but you intuitively know you're very in touch with spirit and and your intuitiveness. Okay, you do miss them a lot with the Three of Swords here, but I feel that it's more so, uh, you know, throwing that out there also that I forgive you. You know, you're giving those messages out like I forgive you. You know, let the bygones be bygones. Let's work on things. I just heard, do you miss me too? So somebody is definitely. Uh, communicating with their thoughts here. You're ready. You're definitely ready for this reuniting, I just heard. Gemini energy or air sign in general. But I do feel that you're ready for this commitment, I just heard, as well as this communication to take place, a choice being made here. I literally heard, it's kind of cute actually, uh, I feel like somebody went through the ringer in regards to like uh, when they were going through this relationship before I feel cut off of communication eventually. Uh, but I and ghosting, you know, uh, but I do feel I literally heard somebody say, gosh, I hope it's not as slow as uh, you were trying to back off with your energy before you ghosted me. Like I, I literally heard that that made me giggle. They're going to, you know, unfortunately, yeah, they will, you know. But I do feel that they are coming back and making things right here, okay? They're not going to be full 110% in on it, you know. Uh, but they're going to touch base. They're going to dip their toes in the water kind of energy to check on you, I just heard, as well. I feel that somebody is, uh, it's a pregnant term. It's kind of like a nesting energy. They're preparing. They're preparing. It's kind of like somebody's going out and getting their hair done, their nails done. Gosh, I need to get both of mine done. Uh, but definitely, it's like I'm preparing. I'm I'm ready for this. It's so close. It's so in my touch here. Hang on. Nope, they don't want to come out. Yeah, the waiting's going to end with the world looking over at that Seven of Pentacles. I just heard nothing to fear but fear itself. So don't... It just, Keep that positive energy. You're very positive about throwing out your messages to your, I just heard, twin. So definitely twin flame energy. You know, don't reverse that. Don't reverse that energy. Stay balanced with this. Don't put the, the fear, the doubt in your mind. Stay positive. Stay focused. Believe. It's about belief. King of Swords. So you do have the power couple. The King, Queen of Air sign energy does not have to be. But there's definitely some kind of communication coming on in. You're going <laughs> to... Uh, Earth sign energy, Queen of Pentacles. I literally heard, I'm ready for it, Deb. <laughs> Somebody's funny. Yeah, they're going to put the past behind them in regards to the Wheel of Fortune. They don't want to talk about it, you know. Uh, it might be lightly brought up. But I really feel that both parties, okay, both yours and theirs... Uh, in regards to this twin, exactly. Why didn't I see that? The lovers is part of the twin flame. So definitely confirmation there. But I feel that you can work through it, okay? That you don't have to reflect. You don't have to talk, you know, talk uh, shop about the past, okay? It's ready to move forward here. Making sure that you're all right and have fast movement. Eight of Wands way away from that Wheel of Fortune. So no conversation Breaking the barrier of that stagnation, meaning uh, don't go back to the past. You know, don't go back to the past energy, I should say. Don't go back to, um, you know, right, trudging up old 
a old hot mess, I just heard, of emotions, of blame, of, you know, it's a fresh start here is what I'm feeling. There's going to be a little bit of a doubt whether or not you two can move past the stagnation, but as long as you don't bring up the, like, I'm feeling like as long as, and I feel that it's agreed upon too. It's not one-sided. I'm okay with that. You know, it's kind of like somebody saying, let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about what all we went through and stuff. Let's talk about the future. And I can literally hear somebody saying, I'm all right with that. Yeah, you guys are going to work it out. You got the Ten of Pentacles here. There is going to be movement. You're going to get past that stagnation and work on things for sure. But huge red flag about, don't talk about the, I can't tell you what to do. But I do feel that it'll go much, much smoother if you focus more towards the future when they return instead of uh, bringing up old news, I just heard. So yeah, uh, start fresh. Um, yeah, start fresh for sure. So here we go. Five above, five below energy. Uh, I feel that somebody's definitely manifesting with their thoughts here. Uh, you're ready for uh, reconciliation, I just heard. You're ready to have this conversation. You're ready to get it on kind of thing. In more ways than one, there's definitely a sex drive there. Uh, but definitely, you're manifesting for their return. I did hear a little bit of sarcasm in the Gosh, I hope it's not as slow as you slowed me down with my communi you know, with your communication before you ghosted me here. It's going to be a little slow initially. It's just to get their feet wet, you know, to test it out, to see how it flows, you know, with you. Uh, but I feel that they're going to straighten it all out. Both of you are going to straighten it out. Things are going to come out. There's going to be work being put in. There's going to be a, a love offer here, you know, the Four of Cups. But you intuitively feel it, you know, and I feel that you've, you've forgiven them. This is uh, progress, definitely, for the plus here. Uh, but you really want them to come back. The only other red flag other than uh, bringing up the past, of past, you know, hot mess energy, that what, what you went through, what they went through, too, during the hiatus of uh, lack of communication is don't change the way you're thinking. Don't hesitate, you know. Uh, this waiting is going to stop. They are going to be returning. I don't feel it's going to be too much longer. I really don't. You're going to intuitively know. You're going to be like, why do I feel that? And then, ding, that's because what you felt, that energy of them returning is true. So that's your intuition kicking in. But don't second guess it. Don't uh, put that mindset in there because you're going to mess up your uh, intuition as well. Believe me, of all people. Uh, I don't do it as much anymore, but there are even times now where I will get a message and I'll be like, for real, you know, I'll think to myself for real and I'll literally hear dead, really? Like, like, don't even question us, you know, go with that gut feeling, go with your intuition, believe in the power of the messages that you are going with. That's your intuition. Definitely. It never steers you wrong. Let me tell you. So professional point of view. <laughs> It really is. And in my everyday life, too. I always follow my intuition wherever I am. So that is what I have for whomever this is meant for. I really hope that this helps, guys. Thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.